Now we had used conditional formatting and a filter to conditionally format all the rows that had a yes with column E in green. And then we filtered so that we were only seeing those rows. Let's backtrack now and unfilter this and make a new rule where we cross off the no rows instead, the whole row. So first to turn off the filter, if you don't see the filter icon on your toolbar, you can click on more and then you'll see that the filter icon is filled in and you just want to click on that to turn off the filter and you'll see all the rows again. And remember to see your conditional format rules, it's a good idea to click in the top left corner of your sheet and then choose format, conditional formatting to see all the rules on your sheet. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this yes one. We're going to create a new rule. This time we're going to look for the word no in column E, but we're going to cross off rows or columns A through F whenever we see the no. This is a little bit different than the ones we've created. Let me show you how this works. We're going to select columns A through F because we want to format all of them and we'll click and add a new rule. In this case though, we can't just say text contains because that's going to look in all of the columns. We're not looking for no's in columns A, B, or C, just in column E. So we have to use what's called a custom formula. It's at the very bottom of the list of options here. When you select custom formula is, then you can type in your formula. And the way you do this is you start with an equal sign. And then we're going to talk about the row we want to see, which is row or column, excuse me, column E. And we only want to look at column E, so we use the dollar signs to say only column E. And we want to look for column E wherever we see the, the word no. And because it's not a number, it's an actual word. We use the quotation marks around it. And you can see right away all of those no rows are formatted with a green highlight. Let's go ahead and change that to red text that's crossed off. So we're going to come down here to our formatting style and we can right away see the strike through option. We'll click that to cross them off and we're going to turn off the green background and make it just a white background. But we're going to turn the text color through this A button to the bright red. And so right away you can see all those crossed off rows and that we were able to do with a custom formula. There's so many different things you can do with custom formulas. Sometimes it takes a little playing around, but you can do great things to your data visually.